morning today on the 21st of February. Good morning to the rising sun inside and outside. Good morning to the ring of power and all the peace workers who are meditating towards inner and outer peace. And this morning I specially greet the peace community of San Jose de Apartado in Colombia because they celebrate today the memory of the big massacre which happened on the 21st of February and all the ones who were killed in their community. And I want to greet them and want to express my gratitude how much uh, they dedicate their life towards peace and how much they find in an authentic way the way of staying in community, of staying in solidarity and looking to a rising sun of community life in this challenging world. Thank you for your path. We are with you and all the ones who are passed over from Tamara. I myself, I am not in Tamara right now. I am in Germany and I went into the room again because outside there is a lot of storm. There is uh, with the rising sun, sometimes raining, sometimes not. So it was a quite moving and touching morning in the outside and I thought you won't hear me. So I went into the room again. And today we present in Tamara, in the stone circle, the archetype of the rising sun and uh, of the sun. And as you know, I try to connect always in the meditation with every thing where I connect to in a way that everything in the world carries something like me. The whole world carries this consciousness of me. And so to connect with the sun and knowing that the sun is also inside of me and I can concentrate in a way that she or he will communicate what is important for us. Some of them call the sun grandpa sun, others say the universal mother, but the quality of the sun is this rising light which is always shining, whether there is night or day, whether there is dark or not, whether there are clouds at heaven or not, the sun is always there and she's very precise. And to learn from this path that we go our own path like the rising sun and especially this, in this time where the, the storm tries to uh, change everything inside of us, everything is in a chaotic change from this status to another status. And the sun is there, and the sun will guide us and will show us the way and will bring us to our real essence where we can stay with our shining heart, with solidarity, with compassion, with wanting to know, with accepting that the unknown is in the center of everything. We cannot know everything, but something is guiding us. And let us allow to trust in this essence of ourself. Let us learn to trust our inner truth, really, and to discover that truth is something which is independent from opinion, which is the unity where so many diversity wants to appear, wants to be faced, wants to be seen, wants to be understood. And in this essence of the inner sun, <clears throat> there we discover the inner, deep, inner peace independent from all the things which are challenging us. So if we discover this universal inner essence of the inner sun, this will help us to manage this challenging time and to speak when it's needed that we speak, to trust even if it's very challenging if we see how much betrayment is happening. And this morning in my med meditation I was reminded to some indigenous friends, friends from Peru who taught me how they um, work with their altars. And they have uh, little covers, what they call intivatana. And intivatana means to bundle the sun. 
and they put in their sacred things and pray with the sacred things and it's, um, it's like a symbol that we learn to take the light inside and that it doesn't get lost. And our heart is like the sun. We can go our path like the sun is going her path, connecting with the universal aspect of our own heart. And if they close their bundle, they say the mountain goes under, the, uh, the heaven goes under the earth. The earth lets grow mountains. The heart embraces the earth and the power protects the heart. And this I feel always when I close my meditation with these words. It's giving a feeling of being centered. It's giving this feeling of being connected with the eternity of their own being and from here with this center knowing when to speak and when to stay silent and keeping taking care for the inner light and in this moment when we learn to do this in even the most challenging situations we will also take care for all what we see and we will be ready to really listen to the other one and knowing that we are part of this whole big one me.